Well, greetings from Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, beep, 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 beep. Now, there's something that people in the know will know where that's coming from. Tell you more in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, where we have close to 100 classic and collectible cars, trucks, you name it, we've got it. Take a look at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com for the latest, greatest additions and newest arrivals. We've got lots of them right now, something there that you probably just can't live without. And here is one of those cars that is just Beep, 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 beep. There was a song about the little Nash Rambler that uh, <clears throat> was uh, beating the big Cadillac and whatever. You guys at the old music will remember that. But here we have an absolutely beautiful example of a 1962. Now it is got the Nash Rambler things on there, but in reality, this car was actually built in the UK. I did not know that myself, so a little research. There's a big club for this stuff, so you can get lots of information. Um, you want to probably make sure to watch this entire video because we're going to do a nice walk around, start this car up, everything, so you can uh, look at all that stuff on our website as well. So take a, take a look here, stay with us. But I'm getting back to this one. This is really a nifty little car. They were all four cylinders. This one has an upgraded four cylinder, so it's really, really a nice running car. That, believe it or not, is a correct hood ornament for a 1962, of which they only made a little over 400 of these cars in 1962, the last year of production, by the way. Uh, beautiful car, nice color combination, certainly looks like something that you'd see in 1962. Uh, you can find all this stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe. I'll tell you what, we have lots and lots of interesting stories on, on these uh, venues, and you'll get to learn something new that maybe you didn't know before. Uh, again, this car is just really, really well done. Beautiful dash. Everything's done. You will notice in the pictures that uh, it's got a nice set of uh, aftermarket gauges in there. And the shifter is actually on the floor on this particular car. Now, again, that was an upgraded thing that someone did. And I'll tell you what, it's really, really a nice addition. Otherwise, they had the shifter kind of halfway on the dash, halfway on the steering column. But this is really, really nice. Interior is as what would be probably for 1962. Uh, the other feature about 1962s is they have a real legitimate trunk. You actually can open the trunk from the back. They didn't do that until a few years uh, a few years prior to this. Uh, it even has a Continental kit on this car. I'll tell you what, lots and lots of interesting things about this. I mean, these were cars, economy cars in their day, and this one certainly will uh, fit the bill for that. But uh, you can come and take a look at it in person if you're so inclined. We'd love to have you come down. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5. And we're open on Saturdays as well from 10 until 4. So you can come on down and take a look. 